hey everyone welcome back to my channel so in this video i'll be showing you how i got to 6a in usmle step 2 um, i'm gonna show you all the prep possible just like i did with step 1 and uh it's a little bit different so let's get into it the first thing i want you guys to be aware of are the new high yield topics that you really need to focus on from the start of prep since with step two there's no real dedicated period so you really need to start focusing on these from the beginning um, because i was actually a little bit surprised at how common they are on my test the first being medical errors you need to know these cold um, you can use emboss articles for that that's amazing uh, UWorld maybe has a table for that as a part of question explanations that's possible as well and the drug ads I had like three drug ads questions in the, on this test and each one had three sub questions so yeah you need to really know how to answer that and I have a video on that it's pretty easy once you know how like you get the hang of it all right what else um ethics and veterans health that was a little a lot as compared to what i've expected um and finally i want you also to focus on psych um and pediatric gi disorders for that there is the cms forms for pediatrics you have like eight I only did the last two but I would recommend you do all of them or as many of them as you can because those CMS forms have the high yield topics that come up on the real deal so make sure you uh, have the time to do so all right all right let's get into it so what I did was starting my clinical rotations I would use emboss uh, step 2 QBank doing it by system per rotation so let's say you're on your internal medicine rotation right now so i'm gonna do the emboss questions relevant to this rotation fortunately our school got us emboss so that was helpful now let's say you're on your ob rotation right now you're gonna do questions about that and so on so forth now the good thing about this approach is that you're getting introduced to the step two questions in a clinical form while taking the subject um, so that kind of consolidates the information and at the same time the extra thing here is that the explanations would um, direct you to the articles and the articles are essentially guidelines written in a better format that's it so you are essentially studying without feeling it okay that I think is the best approach to start with step 2 prep while still in medical school okay now if you've graduated and you're doing uh, and you only have a little time then you can start with your world right away but if you um, if you're still in school I would say start this way because the articles would be your study guide now where is the role of emboss in the last part of prep maybe uh, that would be in the 200 high yield concepts Q bank that one you got to do so I did that like three days out maybe from my test and that was real those topics were actually high yield so I'd recommend you do that as well near your test and at the same time you can use the score predictor it was off by like four points for me but it's still good it gives you like a range to play in right now let's move to the number one resource just like i said with my step one video again i say here that you world guys is the gold standard um i unfortunately did not have the time to finish all of it um so the subscription expired twice before i got the chance to finish it because i was busy with other stuff but i would recommend you finish the whole thing um it's the most similar in 
uh, topics to the real deal and at the same time the fact that the real deal actually has a lot of long questions they're really really long uh, the format of your world uh, gives you a feel of that as well now something I want to highlight would be your self-assessment 3 a lot of people do not really give importance to that and they just do the your world self-assessments 1 and 2 but in fact I have seen that the the exam is more similar to your world self assessment three, so like do not underestimate that and you, you know do not just ignore this fact and not buy uh, your world self assessment three. It's only like fifty dollars, so invest in yourself, guys. Okay. All right. Now, how about the CMS forms? Those are. Uh, essentially a form of shelf exams per subject we have for internal medicine OBGYN family medicine pediatrics psych fam um, emergency medicine neurology so a lot of them actually are available uh, one through eight um, I only got the chance to do like three of them or something but I would recommend you guys do as many of them as you can especially if you have time because the topics tested there are the same ones you will find on the real deal and they're written by the nbme examiners so you can use that in two ways you can use them at the start of your prep before even doing your world uh, as an introduction to the nbme format that is something like an orientation that is also possible especially if you're on the maybe on the internal medicine rotation you're gonna do the internal medicine cms form right alongside amboss and now come dedicated time or come uh, let's say a month or weeks before your actual step exam you're gonna do these CMS forms again in, a, in an attempt to get you oriented with how the actual exam is or alongside the NBMEs. Okay, so you can do half of them before and half of them after. You get the idea? And then here is your gauge, your gauge per, of performance. We are doing those exams, the NBMEs 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I did not do 15, but some people did it. I didn't even know there was a 15. <laughs> and then there's the free 120. Those exams are meant to test your performance and predict your score. Okay, so these ones you got to do, plus the fact that... Um, the topics tested on them come up on the real deal as well but i would tell you that the real exam has much longer question stems and it's starting to get newer and less similar that's something i want to tell you and it's starting to focus more on the ethics medical errors psych and a lot of the non bread and butter stuff so you need to know Yes, you, you want to solve those, but those are not everything, okay? So just because you did the NBMA's free 120 doesn't mean you're good to go for a 260 plus, okay? You also need to work on the CMS forms, the high yield MBAS, you need to work on New World, you need to work on the uh, six high yield topics I mentioned at the beginning. Okay, now come exam day, this is going to be the longest exam day of your life, probably, if you've only just did um, step one. So it's a long nine hour exam with eight blocks, a 50 minute orientation at the beginning and 45 minutes for you to manage as break time. Now, these are shorter than you think because there's a lot of security checks as you're checked in and out of the exam on each break and you need to allow time for that okay because i ran out of time and had to do two blocks back to back twice so that's like two blocks back to back then a break and then two blocks back to back at one point because i ran out of break time so 
just you can what you can do is leave the bottle of clear water they allow that in the exam room um, that's the only thing they allow probably so leave it in there and make that your water break inside the actual exam and then when you go out you go out for using the bathroom or getting a snack now don't make my mistake of drinking two energy drinks like I got two Celsius um, and that was crazy because they're sugar-free and your your brain essentially needs all the sugar in the world and so what you're doing is you're just taking in caffeine breaking down all the sugar and not giving anything for your brain so that was a mistake I would say bring dates bananas any source of sugar that is not really a spiky source like I wouldn't say cookies for instance um, so yeah bring a healthy source of sugar or carb for your brain glucose and maybe dark chocolate maybe coffee and energy drink fine that's good as long as you're used to it but don't do it excessively and don't do it for the first time on exam day okay that's something you need to be aware of and I wish you all the best guys um, it's gonna feel really difficult maybe during the exam maybe afterwards but uh, the score like their grading system is good I think the score would be better than you expect so wish you all the best guys let me know what you think